Okay, so this is when we started to talk about rotation. So we had a wheel, a mounted wheel, and it's spinning. And the first thing we asked about it is to find omega, which is the angular speed. Omega is defined as the rate of change of theta. You might also think about this as a kinematic equation, simply like that. So let's say that we um, measured, we'll just choose some numbers here. Um, imagine one revolution in one second. Okay, if that's true, then we're left with uh, omega is, well, one revolution is two pi radians in one second amount of time, or about six radians per second. The next question was, find the speed, find the linear speed. And of course, in order to find speed, we have to ask where, because each point along the wheel has a different speed. The center is not moving at all, really. So um, we did um, a couple of these. We said, um, how about v at the edge? And that's going to be the omega that we measured for the wheel times the radius of the wheel. So if we use 6 radians per second, and um, I think the radius of the wheel was about 0.3 zero meters. So if we have something like that, then let's see, six times three is 18. So 1.8, which is practically two. So let's say two meters per second. If it's any other place, say half out from the middle, then this turns out to be just half that, one meters per second, and so on and so on. Okay.